Slop City Podcast! Oh, that's beautiful. What'd you say, bitch? Did you uh, hit record, Randall? I believe I have done just that. They're beeping. They're a beeping. I'm just going to make sure. Mine's going beep, 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 beep. I cannot explain to you how ratty my hair gets. Like, look at this. Why is it so ratty? It does this all the time. I can go (laughs) in the shower, put conditioner on, jack off the whole nine yards, and it still comes out all ratty like this. Look at that. I look like Anne Frank in Princess Diary. (laughs) You have to comb comb it. Oh, boy. Uh, Canceled. (laughs) Oh, boy. I meant Anne Hathaway. (laughs) You Did I just get canceled? Hair. Yeah. It looks like you have not put a brush through in the back there. Well, okay. Is that what it is? Yeah. Well, that's why it's all ratty. You got to brush it. But why does it get ratty like this? From sleeping? My and being theory, in a bun? My theory is that it gets like this because I had dreadlocks way back when. And my hair just always wants to go back to dreadlock form. No, that is what hair looks like when you don't properly comb or brush it. Are you sure? Yeah, because my hair does the same thing. So you're telling me. You're telling me. Ask Randy. Randy, what do you think is going on with my hair right now? As somebody who used to have sexy long hair that used to get him loads of pussy. Well... Uh, Check I, it out. I do you want me to, to show like, it to you up close, or do you want me to? You used to look like what? I used to look like a Kardashian, a Kardashian that I could get. Damn. But you got to brush. It. That was fucking funny. Just because you didn't laugh, doesn't mean it wasn't <laughs> funny. Uh, yeah, I, you got to brush it like constantly. I it, brushed my hair all day long. Did you I sleep on it? Around. Yeah, just like normal. You wake up, brush that shit. Did all you day sleep long. on it, Tina? <laughs> Uh, yeah. That's why, because your head's going. It was an impossible. <laughs> yeah, right. You, I, you know what though? I would love to see a video that, of me sleeping actually sleeping. Hair. You think I? <laughs> hair just gets all tangled up. Ow. This is that why people have those silk pillowcases? Yes. Um. Do you really think that I sleep like this? Yes. I think your head. Will you move around? When you move this way, then it goes here, and then you move back that way, and then it gets intertwined like this, and then your hair starts. So this whole time, I've thought, thank God I had dreadlocks, and I'm just thinking, oh. This, this whole time, you just need to comb or brush your hair. That's all. I know, but then it doesn't look healthy when I brush it out. It actually looks worse. Well, what you should do is wash it, then comb it. Comb it while it's wet. While it's wet, and then leave it. What is happening? What's going on with your big titty? My bra strap was all tangled up. It was tangled. Thank God I'm a country boy. Dude. Well, I guess that's it. Though, did, I'm perplexed as to how you didn't know that was from not combing your hair. I literally thought that I have a condition that like makes my hair not good. This whole time. Have you ever <laughs> had a parent or loved one help you comb your hair when you're a child? To be honest, I am thinking about it now. And I do remember a couple of times where my mom braided my hair. But I don't know if combing my hair was like a big thing. We had this. I had this. I remember like. I think I remember asking my mom for a brush one time, and she's like, why do you need this? In Russia, we don't brush. Yeah, it was literally like. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, look how we look. <laughs> we look <laughs> how we look. We wake up and we look how we look. God did not intend for you to come. The Russian god, Boris Christ, says to unto him, do not come. You wake up 
look like this, get on the move. Do you think God invented hair <laughs> so you could comb it? No. no. You look how you look. <laughs> son of bitch. You son of bitch. If I see any Russian comb hair, immediate execute. <laughs> She's walking around the house with a magnifying glass in my bathroom. You will get execute. I mean, I truly believe I like tried to ask my mom for a brush like that. And she was like, you don't need this, Tina. <laughs> we need to go back in time and get Tina a brush. I do have brushes now, though. I have a, a comb, and when I'm, my hair's wet, I comb it. That's a wet brush. You've got a comb, but can't you now, use a wet things, brush? Those things will make your hair look terrible when your hair is dry. Wow. Really? Why is that? I don't know. It just makes it look all frizzy. So what I need is a comb. I don't know what you need. Randy? A professional hairdresser. I'm looking it up. He's shaking his head like, you fucking peons. You cucks. You freaking cucks. The wet brush, I thought I can use this all the time. You can, but I think what you're, the results that you're seeing are the results of brushing your hair while it's dry. Do you want to see what it looks like yeah. right now? Yeah. So She's taking the brush. She's going to start gliding it over her hair. <laughs> but doesn't my hair kind of look good right now? Yeah. Should I leave it? I want to see what happens when you comb it. Or brush it. Oh, God. It's, here's some ASMR for you. <laughs> Dirty, nasty, rat, trash girl brushes hair. For first time in years. In dumpster. And comes. <laughs> Libby, your phone face is a lot funnier than you get credit for. <laughs> I can't see. That's the problem. I just saw that somebody de de put their pledge down because we don't make content anymore on Patreon. Yeah. It's too hard. It's too hard for us right now. Get a, give us a fucking break. I know. I feel guilty, but I'm like, I mean, I guess I could just post Tina mukbangs all the time, but it's like, it's too hard. Randy's inspecting my Is brush. Is that the kind of soft uh, that pushes in and the bristles are soft and has a little knob at the end of it? Yeah. All right. That's what you want. Softer, the better. Whoa. Uh, Randy's looking at an expensive place called Sunset Plaza Salon. From West Hollywood. West How much Hollywood did they edit their pledge down? To one dollar. From what? Seven. Wow. Demoted. We just got demoted. We just got jaw jacked. Somebody jacked our jaw. <laughs> Holy crap. Somebody just jawed us. Somebody jacked our jaws. They were like, you don't put nothing up. Bam. Everybody sees that on their bank statement every month, and they're like, I do like like the podcast, <laughs> but it's not, I don't like it that much. <laughs> like $7? They're like, are they giving me $7 worth of fun? I mean, I think last week's episode was worth $7 in itself. I think last... The laughs that I got from it. I think last week's episode was legitimately worth a hundred dollars, one twenty all year. So that's a one hundred twenty dollar payment. You can either do it all at once, or <laughs> you can do it monthly, which is going to be ten dollars a month because there's twelve months in a year. So if you wow, do you the did math, that math fast, yeah. Ooh. If you do the math, then we're looking at this as bad. My hair is just so knotted. Good lord. Thank God I'm a country boy. I mean, do you see? You need some help there, sis. All of this. Do you have it in a bun when you're sleeping? Sometimes. Oh, my God. Do I need to stop doing that? You need to do something because that is bad. I could see the big old knots in it. If somebody tried to run their hair hand through <laughs> my hair right now and, like, do a passionate kiss, 
it would end in me being like, what the fuck? It would end in their life, life being taken. <laughs> yeah, they would get killed. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel bad about the Patreon. We're busy, y'all. If you like supporting us just because you like to support us, that's good. But Really, you're supporting Randy. You're supporting Randall R. Cash? Yeah, because it's, it's hard. Libby's got a lot going on. I got a lot going on. And Libby doesn't like to do mukbangs in my car. Because I look like a stuffed potato. It's like my tits are up around my ears. <laughs> well, I now- actually have to get a ladder to step down into her car. <laughs> I don't know how that's possible. It's like negative, a negative space. It's actually lower than the ground somehow. I think that I should stop while where I'm at. With Might as well get hair. the damn knots out. Or you could go home and wash it and then I don't know what the right way is. The, I don't want to say something that people will write and say, you're never supposed to do this when your hair's wet. So I'm just you, not going to say anything. The disgust in your face right now is real. I, I'm having a hard time with this early morning podcast. Very hard. Because I've been staying up till five or six every night. And I am extremely tired. What I, have you been doing? Just raging? Just like, wish I could go to sleep. I'm so glad that I don't suffer from any of that. I took two melatonins last night. Do you think it works? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. And my legs were hurting. Part of the problem is my legs hurt real bad at night. I'm like, oh, I can't get, I can't get comfortable no matter what position I lay in. And I'm just laying there saying, oh, my legs hurt. Yeah, but that's going to change soon. Not soon enough. You're about to get the first installment. It's like Libby's getting an expansion pack from The Sims with all of her surgery. <laughs> like, you're. it's like, what, one out of five or something? The first one, it's like, all right, you're getting there. But you need more. You need the yeah. island, Sims. I need the pets. Just so that you can have a real, real banging party. Like on F-Boy Island. I need pets. I need the magic. I need the work expansion pack. I got to sneeze. I need the mother load code. I'm going to get mother load tattooed on me. <laughs> <laughs> mother load. L-O-D-E. Mother load. To be honest, I don't. Mother bitch. <laughs> I don't play Sims enough anymore that if I got that tattoo, it would be like so embarrassing. <laughs> I think it'd be cool. People would be like, it's, but I'm like, I'm paying homage to something. I'm paying oh, homage to something. This is just in case I sneeze. That changed my life. Mother load, mother load, keep building, keep building, keep building. Mother load, mother load, keep building. Mother load is Jeff Bezos' anthem. Jeffrey Bezos, Jeffrey Bezos. Is that a song? You did it! Bo Burnham. Bo Burnham roasts, roasts him, roasts him. I just would like to marry Bo Burnham. Yeah. You got to watch A Promising Young Woman. He's good in it. Okay. Okay. He, uh, yeah, he's real good. He's a great actor. He's brilliant. He is, he's next level shit. He's next level something. I mean, all the knowledge he has about computers. Like, I bet if he got a virus on his computer, he could fix it. If I get a virus on my computer, I'm like. Throw that away. Yep. That's uh, going in the trash. (laughs) (laughs) I Google how to get rid of a virus and it just pops up like Valley Cyclovir, like all these like pills. (laughs) It's just like Valtrex. I'm like, but I already take those. You gave it to your computer, Dora. I already take those. I hope Bo Burnham wins an Emmy. I already got one. It was a hot one. Hell yeah. I came out of a, well, let me tell you a story. Okay, hit me. I bought a, I, I bought a car yesterday. Where? I, should, I shouldn't say I bought it. I've 
I am paying monthly payments on a car. That's Can you buying still say a car. Buying it? Yeah. What you think people buy a house and they're, <laughs> I mean, you know, that would literally be like. I'm financing a you, house. You know how many people get groceries on a credit card and make monthly payments? You don't, oh, you God, say yes. I bought groceries. You don't say like, well, I'm financing <laughs> this uh, banana. Well, I was sitting there waiting for some stuff to get done. And at Enterprise, there's the rental car place next to it. Well, this very enraged uh, white gentleman comes in and just starts screaming at the people working there. Why do they do that? Saying, fuck you, I'm not leaving till you get, and the and we were all, and all the people, <laughs> in the, I got up, I go, I'm getting out of here, I'm scared he's going to shoot the place up. That's what I told the girl sitting there, and I went and sat on the other side. And you took her under your wing. <laughs> like, I took my pocketbook, like- <laughs> and I went to the other part. You, you like... Gave her a noogie, but you just carried her with you. You're like, I'm going to save your life. She's like, get your fat tit away from me. So I went and sat on the other side. So if he did start shooting, I would be able to get out of there quicker. Because if I'm in the lobby with him, I, I don't stand if a he chance. he did start shooting. Anyway, they tell him to get out of there. And he comes over and very, like a little bitch boy, pushes the chair over. And it just barely falls over. I'm like, what a loser. Did you start laughing? I did. <laughs> <laughs> so they called. I the, would have. They called the police on him. Uh-huh. And when the police came, I'm walking outside and the guy goes, Slop City. <laughs> the police officer and I was like. The cop. I go, what? It took me a second. I'm like, what? And then he said something. I go, how do you know? <laughs> Because I had on a mask, and I was not looking cute at all. <laughs> I was not cute. And he just... And he, he, I go, what's your name? And he said it, and then I go, what's your fucking badge number? <laughs> I didn't say that. I, I walked up to him, and I pushed him a little <laughs> bit, and he just moved a tiny bit. <laughs> and I said, give me your badge number, son of a bitch. And I passionately kissed pulled him. his mask off and kissed him. <laughs> And he said, you're under arrest, ma'am. And then he goes, you're under arrest, ma'am. Just kidding. S- turns you around and slaps your bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Bends me over the car. Yeah. And smacks my ass. I'm like, oh. <laughs> and I said, what's your name again? And what's your badge number? And he goes, I got your badge number right here. And he pulls out his dick <laughs> and slaps it on my ass. None of that happened. He said, I got your badge number right here. And he took your pussy lips and <laughs> spread them apart. And all the other in front cops. front of everybody. All the other cops went, whoa. <laughs> like, put their hand in front of their face. They go, whoa. One cop goes, it's too bright. <laughs> <laughs> put her in the paddy wagon. Oh, God. But then they asked your consent to go in the paddy wagon. So yes. it was really just nice. And I says to him, I says, what's your name? And he said it, but I was also so, so scared, so scared that I was going to get arrested for laughing at the guy who pushed the chair over like a <laughs> little bitch. And you don't get arrested for doing the right thing. And then he goes, ask Tina. I'm like, ask her what officer, if you can passionately kiss me on the hood of your car. That's all he said after while he was kissing you, he's kissing you. He's like. <laughs> well, I'm going to tell you, he's a big guy, so I know exactly who you're talking about. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> I know a cop. <laughs> you up there slinging uh, stuff to them cops up there at your work? Yeah, I sling stuff to this cop. I love him. Does he get free stuff because he's what we call a police officer? Uh, Yeah, he does. What a nice guy. Uh, yeah. Yep, he does. And let me tell you something. I, t- I can't tell you guys how many times I've walked in to my local Panera Bread and been like, excuse me, I'm a comedian. And nobody gives you free shit. Where's my dicks count? Nothing. You know what they tell me? Put in your my Panera Rewards card <laughs> and we'll see if you got something on there. What's this officer? Don't say his name. I was going to say what's the officer. I'm not going to say his name, yeah, but I will tell his- you afterward. He's awesome. He's a good dude. I love him. Would he let me go like this on him? 
I think he would be so hard that his, I think what would happen is he would get so hard while you, wait, do the, I love that sound you did earlier. You were like, uh, while you were like saying that he pulled your bottom out or whatever, you did this really nice, I sexy sound. I don't remember sound. how it was. That's okay. I'll make a, we'll, uh. <laughs> That was mind. it. That was it. Do it again. Uh, uh. <laughs> it sounds like you're it sounds like you're answering a question or like <laughs> you were telling someone something, but it turned into a question. Well, needless to say, he was hot. You think he was a hot he guy. He was hot and also because all the three of the cops were spreading my butt cheeks apart. They didn't catch the culprit who was walking down the street. Yeah. Who was walking down Clayton or Ledoux. I don't know which one it was. Next thing you know, he's walking into an O'Reilly screaming there. (laughs) I mean, I don't know where this guy went because the whole story was is he had somebody drive him from Lake St. Louis, dropped him off. Now he doesn't have a ride. You had to hear the story. Oh, we all did. Ugh. That's. I almost wanted to say, I'll get the guy a rental car. Just get him the. He tra- traumatized all of us. And so he's. He said, s- fuck you to the person <laughs> loudly. And we were like, what? Fuck you. <laughs> Did anyone have the employees back? Were they like, hey, you need to calm down? Yeah, the employee did. Okay. <laughs> what did she say to him? Give me the play-by-play of this whole thing, because I love a good freak out in a store. I, even, I love it. He's up there, and he's like, yeah, the people at the other place told me that I didn't need two forms of ID. I just bought a $100,000 home. Why do I need two forms of ID? And just gets increasingly louder. And then me and the other girls just look at each other. We're like, oh, The market right now is booming. <laughs> so that means my $100,000 home that I bought was listed at 50 k <laughs> He just, and then the guy's like, sir, you need this or that to rent a car. And he's like, no, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the guy working there was like, hey, that's not appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> I wish he said, hey, no, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> right. He kept his cool and he used a very boisterous voice that kind of calmed him down for a second. Then he started ramping it up again. I'm not leaving here until this is fixed. <laughs> That's when I was like, I'm going to sit on the other side. So he was upset because he was trying to rent a car. And he couldn't, for whatever reason, it had something to do with either his credit card or his ID. Okay. And but- apparently he had already been to three enterprises and couldn't get one. Oh, well, clearly you're not following the rules buddy clearly you shouldn't have had the person just drop you off at the rental car place so you were assured a rental yeah why did you go to three different ones and be like this is the one (laughs) like he showed up like "Mm, i feel it (laughs) (laughs) and the worst part was is and i told this to the uh guy working there go I knew by the guy's sunglasses that he was going to be a problem. Yeah. Fake Oakley's. Like fake Oakley's. Yep. I knew they were going to be did, an issue. You didn't even tell me and I knew it. Flip flops or what? What was the shoe I vibe? Think probably a work boot. Oh, it was a work boot with gym shorts. I don't know. I, w- I was mostly looking at the back of his head because I was waiting to, you know, have to duck down when he started shooting the place <laughs> up. Oh, God. Isn't that horrible? That's like one of our fears. Yeah, I really did think he was going to. If I have an altercation with somebody, I'll feel like really good in the moment. I'm like, oh, yeah, dude, I fucking told them what's up. Told their ass. And then I start thinking, I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, God, what if they fucking shoot up a place that I'm at to kill me? That's what happened to me the other day with the car. Did I tell you about the car running I had with an older gentleman? <laughs> no. Oh, God. What do you mean car running? You well, hit someone? I mean, no. Okay, so that Livy says car running for a <laughs> accident, a vehicular manslaughter. She's like, "Oh, I told you guys about that car running I had, right?" It's like, "Yeah, you went to prison for nine years." 
We were in a in a mini mall type situation where there weren't stop signs. So this guy's coming from this direction and I'm coming from this direction. We're both stopped. Nobody's moving. So I was like, okay, I'm going to just go ahead and turn. I had my blinker on. I had the right away anyway because I'm coming into the shopping center. Sure. So you, I had the, the right mini away. mall. The mini mall. Shopping center. He pulls out at the same time. So I stop and our cars are like this. What is that? Uh, perpendicular. J- perpendicular. Like, uh, and I just like uh, you were to uh, Harry. You were perpendicular to his body. Yes. Who's Harry? Harry's the guy you, that the guy you did anal oh, with. That Harry. <laughs> oh, like who's Harry? Wow. Well, that's, fucks, that's fucks a, one guy. That's an alias. So fucks one guy and forgets all about him. Nope, haven't forgot. Uh, uh, <laughs> what am I saying? You were saying that there was an oh. alarming moment, and you you being a very safe driver, driving at approximately eighteen <laughs> miles per hour. <laughs> Eight, at eight all miles. times. <laughs> so we're like this, and I was like, all right, it's going to be a problem because he's sitting there just staring at me in his older model Mazda Miata. I'm talking 90s. Small, really small. small. You could have crushed. Two-toned. You could have crushed that Mazda Miata yes. with your tits. Two-toned. Several different pieces from the junkyard, I think. So he's staring at me, and I'm staring at him. <laughs> and I'm thinking to myself, I'm not going to move. Good for you. This was before I thought the man would shoot me. Sure. So he gets out of his car and stands up. And no. Goes, what are you doing? You're in the middle of the road. No, very. he was very angry. I go, are you okay, sir? <laughs> because he was very irate. He goes, no, I'm not okay. And I go, It's not that big of a deal, sir. It's okay. Like, I stayed so calm. And the fact that I was calm and almost, what's the word? Patronizing? Yeah, 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 yeah. Was taking him to the next level. Oh, yeah. That'll really get someone going. When they're angry like that and you're just like, are you good? I'm like, are you sure you're okay? You don't look okay. (laughs) You're like, sir. (laughs) Sir, you're turning into a skull. (laughs) So he goes on for a, a while, and Ooh, I'm just wow. I'm just saying it, you know, over and over. Are you sure you're okay? <laughs> just to make him more mad. And he gets back in his car and sits there. So I just sit there, and I'm like, <laughs> "You didn't record any of this, no, because I just didn't." Well, you knew that when you pulled your phone out and you went, "Gotcha," <laughs> he would have been like, "Fuck you!" I don't think he knew what a phone was. He was too dumb and old. How old was this guy? He was probably like in his 60s. So he just sits there and I just sit there and he's looking at me and I just kind of look away like. (laughs) Dude, that's. Because I'm not going to move my car. That's a baller. All he had to do was literally go around. I love that you just stayed there. (laughs) Like that's badass. So then he gets back out of the car and he goes, are you okay? Oh, God. Trying my own method on me. He was stewing. I he, know, he was I'm in fine. the car like, why the fuck would she ask me if I was okay? <laughs> why would she ask me that? <laughs> he goes, am I okay? You don't look okay. I, I go, I'm fine. And then finally, is I started to think, this man could actually kill me. And I go, sir, would you like me to back up a little bit? <laughs> and he goes, yeah. And I go, okay. So I put the car in reverse and went as slow as possible. <laughs> I couldn't have gone any slower. Just looking straight ahead. Looking my mirrors, him dead in the eyes. Just backing up as slow as possible. And people are driving by looking. So Where? then he just goes <laughs> right past me. So how long did this little standoff i'd say about four minutes wow the fact that he got out of his car not once but twice Twice. is so embarrassing i mean i feel bad for If anybody the people that came by that saw that would think that guy's insane and that woman is keeping her cool he so he just got basically what happened was you guys almost hit each other 
And no. Yeah, but yes. There was no kind of, like, there was not a potential accident. Like, everybody's going slow. He just, we just pulled out at the same time. <laughs> he literally could have driven around me. But he You're just, in the middle of the road. Was not in the middle of the road. What did he say to you? Are you okay? You're in the middle are of the road. You, no, he goes, are you okay? You don't look okay. And I'm like, oh, here it comes. Gonna uh, start saying I'm fat. Here we go. I'm like, I'm fine. Are you okay? You seem angry. It's not that big of a deal, sir. I wanted to be clear about how ridiculous he was being. Oh, yeah. Over something so stupid. You gotta, you gotta do that sometimes. It's like, there's been times that at work, somebody's like getting ready. They're getting mad. They're mad because they forgot something or whatever, and they start arguing with me about it. It's like, hey, I need one more hamburger. And they're like, well, I put it up. I'm like, okay, that's great. But I, I still need it. N- I, I, I need it. And then they're like, <laughs> start like slamming stuff around. And then they drop like four burgers on the ground. Like, it's like, you know, when you get really mad about something and then it just ends up getting a lot worse. Mm-hmm. It's like, <clears throat> then they like dropped all of this stuff on the floor and had to clean up all <laughs> the stuff just because they were huffing and puffing around. Right. And it's like, it's embarrassing. I huff feel embarrassed puff. for them. People that huff and puff. Those are my Kleenexes. Well, I'm going to need some. Randy, uh, if I was you, I'd just get your vacuum out when uh, I leave here and vacuum up all my hair. <laughs> he just sat there with his hands crossed and looked over like. He gave you a thumbs up. Hit me with a thumbs up. Hold on a second. Uh-oh. <gasps> It's cold and cold season. Is it really? No. Man, what kind of person do you have to be to like wake up and announce that to your family? <laughs> it's cough and cold season. <laughs> Dad, shut the hell up. <laughs> My nipple's not in the way. Well, how could it be? Because no one's sucking on them. <laughs> I know. Um, I cannot believe that guy tried to turn your method around i'm too smart for that elderly gentleman that's what you got to do when someone's freaking out like that just be like you good what's happening here i I was trying to turn are you upset i was trying to hold a virtual mirror up for him to look at how ridiculous he was for sure you can't get mad because then it's like once you stay calm they start to realize like how it's like if you hear yourself say something like that over and over again, you're gonna hopefully have a moment of like clarity where you're like, oh boy, I'm a fucking idiot. I don't think that guy has very many moments of clarity. He seemed like he just was off the deep end at all times. What kind of car are we talking about? Mazda Miata. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Old bottle. 90s. Yeah, Two-tone. Maybe in the what 90s. color? There was like, a, I think it was a red and there was like a primer gray piece on there. Like maybe they'd gotten in a previous accident yeah i think the saddest part about all of that is that this man had to get out of one of the smallest cars in the world (laughs) and get back in and then get back out just like just to yell at me yeah oh boy i just i am really proud of your actions that is just i'm what they call a a diffuser. I diffused a situation. That's fucking baller. I wish I would not have backed up. I wish I would have sat there longer. But at that point, I it was becoming so long that I was like, man, this guy is going to hurt me. Well, it's almost like, what am I doing here still? <laughs> I could have sat there all night. I would have turned on the radio, looked at my phone, just sat there. Turn on the radio, done a virtual va- yard sale. <laughs> What's that thing you guys were talking about earlier? Oh, the ra- the radio, uh, is it an, au- not auction, y- uh, yard sale, garage sale, where you call up and you say, hi, my name is Thelma, I'm from uh, Hillsboro, Missouri, I have a, a kitchen, uh, a Lazy Susan that I like to sell for $7. I have a kitchen. <laughs> I have, <laughs> I have a, a rug, a kitchen rug, and also I'd like to sell my husband. <laughs> 
And then the people are like, okay, well, what's your number, Thelma? And they give their number live on the air, don't they? And then if somebody wants the Lazy Susan, they call. I just heard you were selling the Lazy Susan on the radio. Uh, would you take $5 for it, Thelma? So, yeah, I uh, I was just listening to the big 550 KTRS and... With Ray Hartman. Ray Hartman, boy, I would suck him dry, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I would suck him dry. <laughs> Whew. That's besides the point. <laughs> I'm horny. <laughs> um, <laughs> heard that you were... Uh, Heard you were selling some kitchen stuff. And what I'm looking for is an easy bake. Well, uh, again, I'm selling a lazy Susan and a, a kitchen rug. And my husband, that, that part was a joke. <laughs> the joke, it was my husband. But I had, do have the lazy Susan and I have the kitchen rug. And it says, welcome. It's got a, a nice sunflower on it's it. It's no cat. No cat, just a sunflower. One sunflower or a gaggle? It's got one larger one and then some smaller ones on the bottom and then a couple wrapped around the L. Oh, that's actually really nice. And it's uh, in the shape of right, you could put it right in front of your sink area. Now, what do I do in front of my oven? Well, I... Am I going to have to get another kitchen <laughs> rug? Well, I... I wouldn't recommend, uh, you know, I've been cooking for 50 years. I wouldn't recommend. Me cooking. too. You don't have to flex on me. Okay. I've been cooking for <laughs> many years and I have never had to put a rug in front of uh, the stove. Mostly because I worry about the danger of catching fire. What? I, I don't know why that would ever be a worry. Well, when you open up that <laughs> oven and it is three four hundred five hundred degrees and it touches the synthetic fibers of that rug and it'll just go up like a flame i've dropped a burning hot pizza right on to my former kitchen rug the kitchen rug didn't catch fire what had happened was it was in the what washer and, yeah. the, and the agitator yeah the agitator yeah really agitated my kitchen rug yeah that goes in front of my stove. And some of those synthetic fibers yeah. got loose. Yeah. <laughs> they got really, really loose. Yeah. And. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's another danger. Your shoe uh, could get hooked into one of those synthetic uh, fibers and you could fall straight into the stove and oven. <laughs> Well, I had never thought. I just try to keep my grandchildren away from the stove. Whenever the stove is open, I just say, don't try to climb in here this well, time. Well, you know what I did to my grandchildren? When they each turned two, I took their little hands and put them on a hot stove <laughs> and said, don't touch this. It's hot. And that teaches them. Sure. And they, you believe that their IQ was um, high enough where they were developed enough at this point? I don't, they'll remember that understand. burning on their hand. They got a permanent scarring, but that's <laughs> that's not the issue. The issue is, is I don't have a, a stove rug. I have a kitchen uh, sink rug for when you're doing dishes and maybe you go to dry your hand and a little droplet of water falls to the floor, causing a little, uh, what's it called? Hazard, if you will. <laughs> for me, it's a big drop of water. Because I am telling you, I will drop, I mean, I'm just, because when I wash my dishes, I, I have a dishwasher, but I'm scared of it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? I have a dishwasher, but I'm scared of it. Well, Ray Hartman, why are you so scared of your dishwasher? <laughs> You're a successful radio host. This whole time, I thought I was an elderly woman. So this is wait, this a isn't bit Ray Hartman. Confusing. No, this is. What are you? Who are you? I'm a woman that was listening 
to the big yard to Ray sale Hartman's show? on the big five. I thought this was Ray ninety K T R S. Everything. This is really embarrassing. This whole time, I thought we were, you know, kind of bond. In my mind, we were hanging out at a diner, bonding. Well, I don't know why you would think that. Exchanging stories. I don't know why you would think that. Uh, I thought you were Ray Hartman calling follow up about my. Lazy Susan for seven dollars and uh, no, I'm a potential customer and friend. <laughs> well, that's taking it too far. I'm not here to make friends. I'm here to make dollars. Put your call. <laughs> I'm, here. I'm here to make dollars. But you made a little joke in your spiel about selling your husband. Well, you didn't so- ask about the husband. You asked about the rug. You said you wanted to get the rug that's for the zinc. And place in front of the oven. And I told you that's not safe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do you want the rug or not? Yeah. I don't care what you use it for. I'll sell it to you. I'm tired of having this conversation. Wow. Um. Guess I'll never call another elderly woman <laughs> on the big 550 KTRS yard sale show again. And you know what? No, thank you. Wait. Uh, wait a minute. I'm sorry. I kind of lost my cool there. That was just real, you know. What's your name? Are you a Christian? Well, of course I am. I live in Hillsboro. Well, good. Because if you weren't a Christian, I was going to hang up the phone and contact the authorities. Have them head on over to your place and confiscate your lazy Susan, husband, and that rug. For what? For not being a Christian. Oh. Well, listen, tell me your name. My name is Annie. Listen, Annie, I thought you were Ray Hartman calling me, and that's why I said the thing about my husband. I've been listening to Ray Hartman for the last 82 <laughs> years, and I got a big crush on him. So I thought if Ray Hartman heard me say that I was trying to get rid of my husband, Ray Hartman would want to bone me. Well, how many lines do you have on your landline? Is it just one? Just the one. Then the, the unfortunate part is this entire time that we've been on the telephone, uh-huh. Ray Hartman could have been calling oh. to double check with you. You know, just letting you know. Well, some he's dreams, never called before. Some dream. Oh, do you post a lot on here? I just happen to just Let- cozy on up to this radio station. Listen, Annie, I'm going to try to call Ray Hartman back, okay? We'll talk later. <laughs> okay, sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> ring, ring. Oh, I hope he picks up. Ring, ring. Ray Hartman, Big 550 KTRS. Tonight, we've got comedians. We've got music. We've got my sound guy, Howard. We've got... <laughs> <laughs> that is his name. <laughs> we've got... My AV guy, who's going to be bringing in a cart full of goodies here in a little bit. How can I help you? First time, are you a caller? <laughs> no, actually, Ray Hartman. My name's Thelma. Thelma, what a name. And um, you might remember me because I've been listening to you for 82 years. Well, that's funny because I'm not that old. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Ray. We know you are. Oh, what are you talking about? No uh, way. Anyway, I've been, oh, 82. You're a psycho. <laughs> I called earlier because I was trying to sell my lazy Susan, and I don't think you heard uh-huh. me, but I made a pretty funny joke, and I said, um, I'm selling my husband, too, and uh, just want to let you know. Uh-huh. Oh, my God. I just pulled the gray hair out of my... <laughs> out of my... Comb right now. That's Thelma. what I love about you, Ray, is your salt and pepper hair. <gasps> Did I say that on live on the air? <laughs> Thelma. Oh, God, I just snorted accidentally. This is so embarrassing. Are you okay, Ray? Have you been drinking? <laughs> I know you always have a drink of sake before your show. What? Yeah, I know that because I, every time you have a guest, I come up there and spy on them every Friday. You take your guest to that little restaurant over there. And you get sake. Uh, uh, the dr- drunken fish. Is that what you're talking about? Um, Yeah, that's it. I'm going to let you know something right now. I do not 
ever drink alcoholic beverages before I get on this show. Now, my partner here, Howard, <laughs> he is totally inebriated. <laughs> my partner, Howard, running the sound booth, he is absolutely not going to be able to drive home. So, <laughs> well, I just want to let you know that I'm a big fan of yours. And if you were considering a woman that's stepping outside of her marriage, Whoa, Maybe Thelma. <laughs> you would consider me, is what I'm saying. Well, Thelma, let me keep you on the line here for just a second, okay? Just stay on the line for me for one second, okay? Oh, okay. Got to do a quick commercial. Hey, everybody, it's Ray Hartman with the big 550 KTRS. You know. We keep me on hold. You it's know. Embarrassing. <laughs> I don't. I think I made a wrong choice here. You guys know that. If we fuck him, we suck him. I mean, what? Oh, God, he's oh, warning. Oh, boy. This is wasn't, time to shine. Was not supposed to say that on the air. Uh, not a big deal. Nobody's listening. So, <laughs> <laughs> so okay. Uh, today we're going to do a really, really. God, I hope he picks up soon. We're going to do a really, really fun segment. Uh, we have a uh, potential sexual partner for me and as most of you know uh i've been divorced for a little bit he is divorced right yes uh, okay uh as most of you know i have been divorced for a little bit and people have just constantly been bugging me asking me ray are you asexual ray are you <laughs> and howard in an open and giving. <laughs> Are you and Howard in a open and giving and loving relationship? <laughs> At Ray, we're back in four. Okay. Three, two, mm -hmm. one. So we have got... Hey, I was having a private conversation with a woman named Thelma earlier. And those of you that were present for the yard sale extravaganza over the radio, you've got to know, we had a hot <laughs> deal. <laughs> we had a hot deal. Howard, stop touching my bum. There's Howard. <laughs> <laughs> Howard. Yes, we can get White Castle <laughs> on the way home. Jesus. So. Am I on the air yet, Ray? You, yes. Oh, thank goodness. It's me, Thelma. I'm introducing you, Thelma. Oh, okay. I'll be quiet. I'm letting you know, letting the people know that we've got not only... A, a, a regular customer on the yard sale extravaganza on the radio here, but <laughs> we have got somebody. <laughs> we have somebody that is trying to fall in love with me. <laughs> so, Thelma? Not trying, with all due respect, Ray. I'd murder my husband just to be with you for one night. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. So usually uh, when a guest says something like that, we uh, we cut them off. Don't but hang up. Tonight we're doing raw and uncut love connection. Now, if there's one thing and one thing only that you could do to my body while you're exploring it, what would it be? I would for sure <laughs> take out both my upper and lower venture plate and give you one of the best flow jobs Whoa. that you've ever had, Ray. Howard is steaming. <laughs> and if Howard wanted one too, I'd do it too just to get to you, Ray. That was my next question. Is... Am I boring you, Ray? <laughs> does a gummy, does the thought of a gummy bore you? Well, no, a gummy doesn't bore me. I've just, I've had a long night. It's like a vagina, but 
inside her. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. So, uh, Thelma, we are going to have my, to. But my vagina can't gag on on your dick, though. Oh, wow. That's the <laughs> difference. Okay. So if you like that sort of thing, you know, you can't deep throat my vagina. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, wow, 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 we wow. That's uh, that, Howard. He knows. That's crazy. So this week is Shark Week, and that's why she just said the word deep throat. I uh, just want everybody Wait, to uh, know that. You know, the, I'm just trying to steer away from the fact that you're a pervert. It seems like you don't want to be with me, Ray. I shot my shot. Thelma, I really appreciate you calling in, but I, I got a life with Howard. And. Well, I wish you all the best. We got, we just, you know, I'll keep your number though. So, but keep calling in and. Uh, no, fuck y'all. I'm never come, calling up here again. <laughs> and I'm keeping my lazy Susan and my welcome mat <laughs> that belongs in the kitchen. All right, everybody. That was a fuck you. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck you too, Howard. Hey, you know what? <laughs> fuck you, Thelma. No, fuck you, Ray Hartman. <laughs> and it goes to a lot. It goes off the air right there. <laughs> fuck you, Ray Hartman. <laughs> Ray Hartman's always asking for me to give him stuff to play on the show when I'm on it. I'm going to give him that whole segment. Give it all to and him. And I'll give it to him live, and he can listen to it live. I want to see him and Howard's reaction. Oh, dude. I think they'll laugh. Don't you? Yeah. I think they would laugh. Every time I'm on there, well, he had me booked yesterday and then realized that he had double booked. And I go, he goes, I'm so sorry. And I said, you know what? I'm used to the men that I love disappointing me. You said that to him? Yeah. I always say stuff like that to him. Because he always flirts, flirts with me. And Ugh. he said, um... Love, I thought I was just your pool boy. <laughs> and then I jaw jacked him. <laughs> I jacked his jaw. Next thing you know, I'm jacking his jaw. <laughs> Next thing you know, I'm knuckles deep in his booty hole. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you're telling me that, I mean, what? I wonder what Ray would think of your newfound. Uh... Oh, he would. He would go crazy with my newfound sexual. For sure. He'd be like, oh, let me slap you with a riverfront times. <laughs> <laughs> let me look at his messages. Very old edition. Uh? If he has a family, this is going to be really bad. He's got kids. I know he has kids. Which is funny because he seems like someone who would have kids and then be like, I'm too busy traving the world to take care of them. On the, the 20, on the 22nd, I said, if you want me, I'll be in town next Friday. You know, because he always has me on a show on Fridays. Uh-huh. He goes, great. And we can have you on the show, too. <laughs> oh! Bam! No way! Uh, Damn, he, Daddy, he is, like, spitting the <laughs> game. He said, I need to check the schedule, but we'll definitely do it soon. So then he said, are you available Friday? This is a couple days later. And then... um. Then he realized he double booked. Please don't kill me, but I screwed up. Full stop. Didn't realize that I was booked tonight. Okay. Maybe we can have you on the show, too. Ah! Uh, Bam! Oh, oh. Ray Hartman got... <laughs> game. <laughs> Libby just let out a fart that sounded like she opened a bottle. <laughs> a bottle of what? <laughs> I wish my fart sounded like that. Whoa, did you hear the after effect? No. It was like a little bit got stuck and went. Beep. No, that's so cute. It's little pip squeak. Dude, Donald, yesterday, I got to give y'all a Donald update. You didn't call me. He's going to pass away, and I'm going to say, Tina, it's your fault that I didn't get to see him. You're right. I'm I did available not call you. at a moment's notice. This is getting ridiculous. I did text you that one day this week. Do you think he'll be there today? Let me text. Uh, Are you there today? No. I'm not going up there. Well, yeah, you can only go I'm up only there. I'm up there if you're... Um, I, uh, he is deteriorating rapidly. 
Um, and you know, but the one thing I will say is that yesterday we, he had a couple of really good laugh lines. Uh, you know, just to hear him. it was good. Like he told this one gal, Danny, one of my best friends, as she was walking in. Oh, I can't stop yawning. I'm fucking tired. <laughs> so she was walking in and he I think he said something like, you're looking good today, whoever you are. <laughs> I cannot. It was something like that. Holy shit. Hit her with that. Whoever you are. And when she <laughs> she came in laughing hysterically. <laughs> you are. I'm going to text her right I now. I wonder and what ask. he would say to me. Oh, Gary, look at Gary. Oh, um, he's, and he'd say you're looking good, even though you're a fat piece of shit. I've never once heard him say anything about. Have you ever seen fat him hear women. fat women? Yeah. Oh, never. She's, she's good looking for a plump gal. She is plump. Really good looking for a plum. If you'd lose 100 pounds, you'd really be good looking. He, he's like. Well, I would take you out to dinner, but it would cost way too much. <laughs> <laughs> and even me owning a plastic film company could afford that. Because you're a fat bitch. <laughs> I don't even know where I'd put you. I don't have a car. It's you definitely like, can't fit in a taxi. Oh, God, dude. He is ridiculous. Yesterday, he was he was talking about... <laughs> oh, no. He was talking about, like... There was this beer that uh, I poured to somebody and it was like bright pink. It's like a grapefruit Radler yeah. beer or something. So it was bright pink and Donald's like, whoa, what's that? And his dentures have been like almost falling, falling out. out. It's been really bad. But then he, he actually did fess up to it yesterday. He goes, my bridge is messed up. It's his bridge then. He That's, have yeah. Adventure. It's He said Aww. it was a bridge. Poor Donald. Yeah. Sorry, I just pictured his old teeth and almost threw up. <laughs> Poor Donald. But yeah, he said his bridge has been jacked up. Part of me wanted to be like, yeah, sure, it's a bridge. But I didn't. Poor guy. And, but, so yesterday he's looking at this pink beer. He goes, well, what's that? And I go, Donald, shut up. I go, stop asking questions. We all know what you're going to drink. You're going to drink your Bacardi and diet. <laughs> And that's it's it. It's going to sit there for four hours. Yeah. And then he goes, well, I can still ask. <laughs> In front of these two, like, hot, young <laughs> business guys that he's been, like, chatting with or whatever. And we're all laughing and laughing. And Donald, shut up. Donald goes, <laughs> you know, I just can't drink the beer. When I drink beer. I piss, I pee on myself. <laughs> he literally <laughs> said, I pee on myself. He goes, it makes me have to go to the bathroom so much. And these guys <laughs> next to him are just like, yeah, man, we get it. He's like, oh, God, I just, I pee on myself. All <laughs> and he just goes <laughs> on and on and on. Oh, dude, he's killing me. But the other day, he had, like, a newfound appreciation for me. He was like, Tina, you are. He was like, you are. We're tired today, guys. We we get, did this a bit earlier than normal. Um, but he was oh. like, Tina, she's a really good bartender. Watch her. And he goes on and on, basically, like, telling me about how I, he says, you're the employee. That doesn't need fixing. He's like, you are. I'm watching you. <laughs> I'm watching. He's like, you're you're answering the phone, making this drink. And he's just complimenting me like crazy. And he goes, you know, I honestly think you're the best bartender here. That was his his teeth <laughs> moving. <laughs> And I go, really? I go, better than Angel? And Angel is a gal who's worked at this joint for 30 plus years. And everybody knows her. And she's like, hot, dude. She's older, but she's fucking hot. Hot. Uh, 
oh yeah, like she's Have just, I met her? I don't think so. But she's sexy. And I go, I'm better than Angel. And he goes, yeah. And she's getting a little too old. <laughs> I dare him. lost my mind. I go, Donald. I was like, you, he goes, yeah, I'll say it. I said it. And you're like, you're 90. Yeah, I was like, dude, you have a stain on your shirt. You are asking me the address of this place. <laughs> that you're at every, every day. day. And you got the audacity Did to call someone old. Him? No, I just laughed really, really, <laughs> really hard. And I was like, Jesus, Donald. I'm going to tell Angel. He has just been, no, you can't. She'll be heartbroken. Oh, I don't even know Angel. So. I know. Does Angel listen to this? No. But, I, I mean, if she not. did, whatever. She's the hottest person ever. She's going to be just fine. But, yeah, the the way, I mean, he's, he was like <laughs> asleep. Nodding off, and then he's like, "Boy, you are a really good bartender." <laughs> <laughs> and then he roasts Angel after a twelve-minute nap at the bar. He's like, "She's just getting a little too old." <laughs> okay, so are you working tomorrow? Yes, all day. Do you, does he ever come in on a Sunday? Mm, yeah, sometimes. Oh. I'm going to, I am go. he is on his deathbed is what I'm trying to tell him. What I'm trying to tell you is that I have to get in there before he is going to hospice. Before he is reincarnated. He's, he's going to be reincarnated into like a 12 year old kid. Just so he can. My name is Donald Ragsdale. Yeah. And that's what the 12 year old kid will talk like. And I own a plastic film company and the kid's mom's going to be like, no, you don't. And your name is Troy. Donald Ragsdale. It's like his whole life, he's got this alter ego. Donald Ragsdale. Your name is Troy. <laughs> no. Who is this? Mom, take me up to the bar. I want to see my favorite bartender. <laughs> You're 12. You don't have a favorite bartender. Holy fuck. Yeah. I freaks the parents out. All of a sudden, his eyes roll back. He's like, my name is Donald Rodsdale. And then they look him up, and they're like, oh, my God. <laughs> this He's man died dead. 12 years ago how, on your birthday. How do you know who this man is? And he's like, you're looking good today. <laughs> what happened to your teeth? Why do you have a bridge? You're 12. <laughs> He's, like, talking to his mom. He's like, mm, I'd love to neck with you. <laughs> He has vast knowledge of old timey makeout terms. Oh God! And Donald, he sings sometimes. Yesterday, he said something like, "I was like, what can I get you?" Or I was like, "What do you want?" Something like that, or whatever. He goes, "Well, I want you." <laughs> wow! And I was like, "Jesus, Donald!" I go, "Well, that's never gonna happen." <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> and then, like two minutes later, he starts singing. He's like. You had me, and then you left me. And I go, are you singing about me and how I just made you feel? He goes, you had me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he likes to sing every now and then, too. I mean, you know, you, you got to meet him. You got to meet him before he dies. So I'm going to, I'll let you know, brother. As soon as you see him walk in the door, you should be on the horn. On the horn. Saying yellow. yellow, yellow, yellow. Oh, absolutely. But yeah, he's just been a real. He used my smartphone yesterday for the first time because he's like, Tina, I, I I don't know where my cell phone is, you know. And I was like, Well, what'd you do with it? Whatever. And he's like, I think I left it at home, you know. And I was like, All right, oh, God, what do you need to do? He's so like, sad. Well, I need to call the cab. He his cab drivers. His name's Ish. I've told you that. And that's that's just his guy. Right. So yesterday, I'm showing him how to use my phone. He's holding my phone and he's going, like, I mean, I have just a standard smartphone. Donald's got a jitterbug. So he's typing in the number on this fucking keypad screen and going. <laughs> like when he tapped it, he held on so tight. <laughs> just, 
I'm like, no, it's just like a touch. He screen. Thinks like he's you doing just, fucking you just numbers. need to do a little touch. You know, it's not, it's not a lot. And then he goes, how do I call? And I go, green button. He goes, <laughs> and he did it. He completed the call. Holy I was so shit. proud of him. And he, I was like, wow, that was really good. He's like, that is a sophisticated phone. <laughs> sophisticated. So, I was like, then he go, ish. I'm well, surprised Ish picked up with a he, different number. He didn't pick oh. up. Oh, that's exact. That's exactly what happened. He left. He's like, Ish, it's Donald Ragsdale. I'm up here at blah 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 road. Whatever. You know, I don't even know the address of the place I work. The only other place he goes besides. Yeah, him. and then he's he uh, after he hangs up, he goes, "How do I hang up?" And these young bucks next to him that, like, you know, he's chatting with, talking business, are like, red button. <laughs> and he goes, that is sophisticated. <laughs> and he's like, uh, Ish didn't pick up. Oh, he God. goes, he saw the, uh, the different number and didn't pick up. But if it was me calling, he would have answered right away. And then uh, he did call back. He called back in moments because Donald left him a voicemail like, I'm calling off of a different <laughs> cell phone. And the person next to me is looking good today. Whoever they are. Oh, God. You're looking good today, whoever you are. <laughs> uh, Judy roasted her ass. That is a oh, you're fucking looking, you're looking zinger. Good, good today, whoever you are. And then he rolled his eyes and tripped her i'm trying to think who he reminds me of i have never met anybody like him in my life well older gentlemen like him are not around much anymore you think they're just all dead they're dying yeah I, I, or they can they got away with saying shit like that to have you met people like this before? i mean when i worked at the waffle house all those guys that Ye would come in there every single day and get coffee acted like that Yeah, I mean, it, there there is not many of these cats left. He is close. He is well, he is close to the end. Let's put prayers going up for Donald that he's yeah. Everybody stays, start praying for Donald that he stays with it long enough for me to meet him and get a picture with him. Hey, Donald, you mind if I get a picture with you? Well, and on once my I tell him phone? that you're you're my best friend too, he'll just lose his mind. And, I'll and he'll say, she is the best bartender here, isn't she, Donald? Oh God, he will flip out. All you—that's all you have to do is just things he I have told you about him. Just relay that, and boy, you're set to have a conversation for hours. I'd be like, "Hey, Tina, I'd like a Bacardi and Diet Coke. You think my friend here would like one?" And he'll with be lime, like, "With lime, with lime." He'll literally be like, "Well, well, I need to be taking her out." No, Tina, you put that on my bill. That's exactly what he'll do. He bought those guys' bill. He'll, oh, he'll buy your whole meal. And then I'll say, Tina, don't put the Bacardi in there and give me regular Coke. Oh, God, and yeah. And just let me pretend. I do that to him a lot. Poor guy. Well, send it prayers up for Donald, everybody. Just send him up. Yeah. Yeah, prayers going up for Donald. For Donald. Yeah, yeah I'm going to try to. Okay, we get it. Your hair is not ratty no. like mine. No, I thought that was my hair, but it's. Like, why is it oh, the Slop out? City fart. Yeah. Well, I guess I'm going to try to brush my hair a little more. If anybody has hot hair tips. That, it, Danny, I go, what did Donald say to you yesterday? <laughs> and she goes. <laughs> You're looking great, whoever you are. He said it to Danny? LOL, LOL. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's you. That's who he said it to. She's walking into work, and he says, you're looking great, whoever you are. <laughs> she literally walked into work losing her mind laughing. She goes, dude, Donald just fucking said it. <laughs> oh, man. Well, send your prayers. If you've got prayers, if you believe in God, if you've got any prayers left for anybody, just start. Sending them up. Send them up, up into, for the, Donald. into the ether. Send him, because he's going to need him. This is going to be a long road to death. Sad. All right, y'all. We love yous. Thanks, y'all. We love yous. And cut. <laughs> 